Why are we going there? Oh no! As the odd pair had moved further into the darkness beyond the copper gate, before the small creature's eyes had adjusted to the shadows, the Alva had suddenly been grabbed from its shoulder. Oh, a gigantic no. shape had picked up the helpless Alva and placed her inside a glass sphere strung up from the ceiling. Three beings slowly emerged from the darkness, who didn't seem at all interested in the small creature standing before them, and appeared to be squabbling with one another. Look at it! Look at it! The fat nosed troll chanted, enthusiastically oh, pointing at trolls. the Alva with one of his chubby fingers. It looks so yummy! Let me chew it a bit and I'll let you two know what it tastes like. The I fat like nosed troll so made a guttural sound, spouting and drooling saliva as he mustered all his strength in an effort to grab the Alva. But the slim nosed troll quickly gripped the glass sphere with his long, nimble fingers, keeping it out of the fat nosed troll's reach. The shiny one is doing fine right here in my ball. I found it. It's mine. Swallowing my shinies will be the last thing you do before I got you like a little fishy. What? Bugger Kangan bellowed, immediately bringing the argument to a halt. I'm thinking. He then continued, letting out a troubled sigh. Irritated by being interrupted, the slim nosed troll quickly retorted. Thinking. That's all you do. We have been sitting here for so long. I don't even know why we came to this place. I say we leave and take the shinies with us. Burger Kungan slowly turned his head towards the slim nosed troll, giving him a dreadful glare. <laughs> the slim nosed troll responded, with his nose pointing upward. Do what you want then. Search some more. Go ahead. You'll never find it here. Whatever it is you're looking for. I, however, have that which I desire right here. He carried on as he gave the glass sphere a mischievous poke, making the Alva tumble around inside. Fat nose troll. Beria Kungen. And slim nose troll. Why? Why is the uh, Beria Kungen means uh, uh, the mountain king? Why he is the mountain king? Anyways. Uh... Hello. Let her come down to me, please. The small creature tried, receiving no answer from Burger Kungan. Hello, let her come down to me, please. The small creature tried, receiving no answer from the troll. Please. Hello. Let her come down to me, please. The small creature tried, receiving no... The troll's eyes were focused on the Alva, paying no attention to the... As it seems, they don't uh, care about us. They're like... Oh, what is this? Little... Out of to... curiosity, the creature picked up the strap to have a look at it. Recognizing the fine condition of the leather, it decided to keep it. We can... Hmm. Uh, no, if it throws us a no, we can um, trick them. Like, do it so that uh, they give it back, the Elva, and they give it something to them but they control us too no they can trick us uh, sleep now 
house, the creature suddenly realized it had yet to introduce itself. Ah, okay. The reflecting eye. Hmm. No. No. Hmm. Hmm. No, no. Hmm. 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 No, no. Can I? Oh, she's glowing, or he? Oh. Yikes! Oh. You dummy! Of course you'd go and break it! The fat nosed troll exclaimed. Don't raise your voice to me, you moronic glutton! I found it! I'll break it if I want to! The slim nosed troll grunted. Enough! Burger Kangan roared. What's done is done. We Very all wise. get one piece each of this what? trivial ball. Always End of so discussion. Little. There are more important things to attend to. I should have thought twice before bringing you two along on this expedition. The slim nosed troll mumbled something inaudible in response, bringing the conflict to an end. <sighs> Where is Elva? Uh. Hmm. 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 Okay. Eh. The small creature bent down and scooped up some of the spit into the cup of Sigrin. Suddenly, the mucus had turned green, and instead of water, now flowed a putrid, endless stream of poison liquid. Oh, uh, okay. Hmm. 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 The foul. Burger Kungan gave it a stern look as the quivering creature approached him. What a surprise! A strange little newborn has wandered into our mountain all by itself. Why have you come here, little creature? Burger Kungan asked while curiously inspecting the tiny being standing before him. To help my friend. We have been told this place can give her wings. They are missing, you see. The creature said with determination, gathering all its bravery to not appear weak. Was that the shiny little thing that fell down into the hole over there? If that's the case, I'm afraid you will never see her again. <laughs> Burger Kangan chuckled, but quickly returned to his stern voice. You said you had heard about this place. Tell me what you know. The creature dared not refuse Burger Kangan's request. Well, that it once held some sort of ancient power. The small creature explained in a slow, tentative manner. Burger Kangan sighed in boredom. Bah! I thought you might be useful, but I suppose it's up to me to figure out the secrets of this place after all. I can't trust these two cretins, and you are no better. Waddle home to where you came from. You will find nothing here, and even if you had, it wouldn't have helped your friend to... 
What was it? Grow wings? Such stupidity. Burger Kungan, irritated by the small creature's lack of knowledge, lost interest and returned to examining the cavern. Don't tell me I'm a troll. Hmm. Hmm. The creature suddenly realized it had... Hmm. Creature wasn't at all interested in trying to reach the gold. Well, that just being compares to uh, crave instant knowledge. Okay. Where did she go? Search for the power hidden beyond the copper gate. Oh, there's a uh, altar. plates had moved apart, revealing a large opening in the middle of the cavern. Ah, you have done well, little creature. This might be the place I seek after all. Go down there and tell me what you see. Burger Kungan commanded the small creature, who saw its chance to reunite with its friend. Hello? Are you okay down there? I'll figure out a way to help you out. Don't worry. The small creature reassured the Alva as it started to explore the new found cave. Don't worry, my friend. <laughs> you can see the troll's foot here. Okay. Yeah. Are they so heavy? Altar. What is this? This is Elva. The small creature re Okay. What is this? The gemstone was too indented. Creature was unable to pry mushrooms. The small creature dared not to disturb the hazardous looking mushrooms. Okay. No. Open. Uh. Okay. Start 
feeling the stalagmite's rough surface with its hand, the small creature searched for a beard, yet could not find one. Hmm. Hmm. The small creature reached down into the hole. Just the thought of pulling at Burger Kungan's tail made the small creature frightened. I should be wary where I place my feet. The small creature. <laughs> As the creature moved across the chamber, one out of four similar altars carved out of the cave floor seemed to respond to its presence, faint whispers breaking through the silence of the cave. Lowliest of all remains the Earth Dweller, ambition stifled by the wheel's light. Hmm. Lowliest of all remains the Earth Dweller, ambition stifled by the wheel's light. As equals two walk beside one another in light, five acknowledge their place. Oh, this is uh, actually very, very hard. On a throne of eight, the golden wheel governs the day. On a throne of eight, the golden wheel governs the day. On a throne of eight. On a throne of eight. As equals two walk beside one another in light. Five acknowledge their place. Six remain shrouded, inhabiting the moonless night. The slim nosed troll was keeping watch over his treasure. Three, four, five. 
Lowliest of all remains the earth dweller, ambition stifled by the wheel's light. On a throne of eight, the golden wheel governs the day. On a throat. Putrid contents of the chalice onto the mushrooms caused them to pulsate, letting off a cloud of spores before returning to their slumber. Ew. Why? Uh, why did I do that? The small creature dead. It's cast! The fat nose troll chanted. The hunger, the itching. Only bad luck comes my way. Ever since I got this piece of glass, I can find nothing to eat in this damnable place. And now my whole body burns. No more! Be gone with you, foul thing! He screamed as he hurled his piece of the glass sphere onto the floor, quickly picked up by the small creature. Oh. For a moment I thought uh, I did something very bad. Hmm. 
suddenly realized it had yet to introduce itself. Hmm. Venomous, wild mushrooms were spreading aggressively throughout the cave. The creature of all remains the earth dweller, ambition stifled by the wheel's light. What was the earth dweller? I forgot. I must do Google it. Earth dweller. Earth, earth, earth dweller. of all remains the earth dweller, ambition stifled by the wheel's light. Six remain shrouded, inhabiting the moonless night.
six remain shrouded, inhabiting the moonless night. As equals two walk beside one another in light, five acknowledge their place. On a throne of eight, Fix it. Hey. <laughs> Out of the darkness, a crackling and glowing stone emerged, lighting up the cave with its overwhelming energy as it levitated calmly above the altar. I'm now a full closed, yes. Can I take it? As the creature got closer, sparks and cracks of lightning began to emanate from the Askston. Noticing this, the small cr hmm. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Can't take it like this. of the chamber, floating above an altar covered in rune carvings, was an Askston. Formed as lightning strikes the earth, an Askston is said to be infused with the power of the creature. I have to introduce myself first. Hmm. 
wait, did it work? Feeling the stalagmite's rough surface with a hmm. as the creature. Mm -hmm. hmm. You're there. Come out and show yourself. The small creature commanded the stalagmite, but it didn't seem capable of responding. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. For soon. The small creature hesitated, realizing that brushing away the dirt with its hand might break the fragile bones. creature got closer, sparks and cracks of lightning began to emanate from the Askston. Noticing this, the small creature backed away in reverence. The small... A small creature lowliest of all the foul stench coming from the layers of grease and mucus covering his skin made it an easy decision for the creature to not move any closer to Burger Kungan. The small creature The small What is this? A filthy little ball of hair straddling towards me. Coming for my shinies, you filthy burglar! Keep your distance, or you'll regret it! The troll licked the blade's edge with a devious smirk on his face. The small creature stood, frozen in fear, not able to utter a single word in response. Realizing it posed little threat, the troll settled down and turned to his riches as he started to mumble to himself. Filth! Trying to steal my shinies. Too many to hide from prying eyes. Need something smaller. Something pleasant to my eyes. Something shiny, yes? I have this. Seeing the small creature approach from the corner of his eye, the slim-nosed troll quickly turned and snatched the pendant out of its hand. Ah, I finally found it. I knew a special kind of shiny was round here somewhere. The troll admired the pendant as he twisted and turned it in his hands before addressing the small creature reaching for it. 
Now, now let's trade, shall we? I get one thing from you, you get one thing from me. The That's troll fair. took out his dagger, pressing it hard between his hand, causing it to bend into a crescent shape before handing it over to the creature. Without another word, the slim-nosed troll turned away, holding his new prized possession in front of his face, occasionally laughing with glee as he stared into the reflective surface of the pendant. Hmm. That was actually a fair thing to do, maybe. Hmm. Hmm. No. Hmm. Maybe this. Yes, yes. Sure for this. Luckily for the creature, the dagger had been bent at an angle to slide perfectly into the cavity behind the gemstone. With some endeavor, the gemstone came loose, at the same time causing the dagger to return to its original shape. Whoa, what was this? Is it the eye? As soon as the eye's radiant gaze met the ring, an intense beam of light shot out of the ring's jewel, disappearing into the ceiling. Suddenly, a shriek of agony could be heard from the cavern up above. Mm hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Feeling the stalagmite's rough surface with its hand, the small... Maybe we go up. Ah. <laughs> My eyes! It burns! Cool. How is the wheel of heaven's wrath reaching us here? The slim-nosed troll shrieked, desperately trying to cover his eyes from the ray of light pointed at his face. Run away. Wait. <laughs> is that bad animation? <laughs> uh, I can take now this. With the troll distracted, the small creature was able to sneak closer and nab the glass shard. Who goes there? The slim nosed troll cried out as he tried to make out who was approaching him through his fingers. If even a single shiny is missing, I will find you. And turn your skin inside out, you filthy thieves! If you're fine. Okay. Now I have somehow to stop. Oh, no, it's melted. Wait. The gemstone had begun to burn hot hurting the creature's hands as it attempted the creature emerged from the hole, it spotted the slim-nosed troll throwing the pendant on the ground, shattering it. Filthy craftsmen, who can't even separate fool's gold from the real thing. If I find them, I shall give them a quick departure from their pathetic existence. Muttering and cursing, he turned back to rummage around in his treasure pile. Hmm. 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 The small creature. 
took the ball of hair sitting at the end of Burger Kungan's tail in one hand and the sharp dagger in the other as it carefully began to cut a few strands at a time until the tuft of hair came off. Don't mind, I did nothing. I just took so little hair. Okay. Hmm. Brush? Why I should have a brush? Ah. No, no, go back. Hmm. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. I should use the brush here. You have a fossil. By carefully dusting around the fossil, the outermost layer of dirt around it came loose and accumulated in the creature's extended hand, revealing a set of bones sticking out from the cave wall. Sorry, okay. Hmm. With the fossil uncovered and intact, the creature could easily pluck a couple of particularly pointy bones from it. Nice. How many bones did I take? Oh, many. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Don't tell me I mean it now. A skeleton key. Okay. But it's inside the... the creature reached inside the casket and pulled out a dusty old tome, bereaved of one of its pages. Look at One. The creature stated as it looked down into the dark hole. Hmm. 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 
Small creature exclaimed as Alva emerged from the hole. She responded with a quick nod as she slowly stumbled over to rest on a nearby stone. Don't you worry, you stay there and regain your strength. Stay there, Alva. Take a break. I know you're there. Come out and show yourself. The small creature commanded the stalagmite, but it didn't seem capable of responding. As the creature got closer, Largest being appears to uh, crave ancient knowledge. The small creature dared not disturb. Hmm. But he hmm. no. Hmm. No. <sighs> As soon as the small creature came before him, the fat-nosed troll's fingers had surrounded its body, pinching and squeezing it. How do you taste, I wonder? The troll said, drooling as he pressed one of his fingers into the small creature's belly. Are you filled with delicious fat? Maybe no. I could use your bones to pick my teeth with. 
The troll was not gentle in his examination as he started to pull the creature's snout, trying to figure out the limits of its body. Please stop! I don't taste good, I can assure you of that! The creature shouted, causing the troll to release it, dumbfounded by its words. Well, all right. No need to yell. You seem to be nothing but hair and bones anyway. Not very tasty at all, he said, dismayed over yet another meal slipping through his fingers. Hmm. No. The foul stench coming from the layers of grease and mucus I'm sorry I got us into this, but don't worry, we'll make it through, the creature said with confidence to the Alva, who answered with a faint smile. The creature gave the Alva a gentle, reassuring pat on her head. Hmm, very cute. Maybe you want hmm. to read the book? Maybe you want hmm. to cover yourself? Yeah. You don't sit uh, close to the mushrooms. Six remain shrouded, inhabiting the moonless night. The creature was... Why should someone gather this much of it? The creature thought, pondering what use one would have for the towering piles of gold. equals to Ah, it's locked. That's why we can't hmm. read it. You have to unlock it some way. Oh no. Back. Hmm. Hmm. But how we No, no, that... Maybe more bones? The rest of the bones were stuck too deep. Feeling the stalagmite's rough surface with its hand, the small...
Something glowing is swirling around inside. What could it be? The small creature. His kin, Burger Kungan, is the oldest troll known to man. He was birthed long ago, deep beneath the cold earth in halls of ice, in a realm of eternal night. Stories of him have sprung up in generations far parted by time, leaving many convinced as to him possessing the gift of unending life. The few times he has been forced to appear above ground, his sightings have always been preceded by powerful omens, followed by strange mystical effects on the lands. Trolls are hideous beings, frequently described as doers of evil and wicked deeds. Terrified only by the sun's rays and the clap of thunder, they seldom leave the darkness of their caves, but once in a while, emerging to roam the night in small packs, traveling between villages, snatching newborns out of their cribs before replacing them with their own offspring. Although socially organized, their minds are often blunt, some telling stories of quick-witted travelers narrowly escaping their grasp. Thank you. Trolls, although... Using the old canvas, the creature was able to pick up the hot gemstone. Why it takes so much time? To... Oh. Creature once more presented an offering before Burger Kungan. The tome immediately caught his eye. I recognize the runes on this book. It will surely unveil the true secrets of this place. Hand it over. The creature followed his command and gave Burger Kungan the old tome. Um. It appears what I seek is indeed down in that hole. Bring it to me. There should be a way. Take this glass shard. It might be a key part in this. Make haste, little creature. My patience is growing thin. Okay, okay. Relax. Finally, it works. As the creature got closer, 
sparks. Let's go. The creature gave the Alva a... No more butt. This looks powerful and dangerous. The small creature thought as it stood in awe of the great energy being discharged from the stone. decision but I feel this is our last chance to get you wings let's head up shall we the small creature said to the Alva who with a hearty nod once more crawled up behind its ear yeah ah, much better let's see at last after all this time it's within my reach, Burger Kungan proclaimed, looking at the Askston with hungry eyes. This, this is what we have been looking for? A stone? A piece of worthless rock? The slim-nosed troll spouted in anger, yet his words got drowned out by the fat-nosed troll's deep voice. It must be a special rock, right? What does it do? Burger Kungan began to explain in a calm, almost threatening voice. This, my brother, will keep us safe as the wheel in the heavens passes above our heads. It beckons and bends the mind of the dark clouds and the hammering they bring with them. He turned his attention to the small creature. Come now, little creature. Hand it over to me, Bugger Kungan commanded the small creature, seemingly hesitant to touch the crackling Askston directly himself. The small creature looked at the Alva and then back at Bugger Kungan. No, I will not. Did you not hear me, little imp? I said, bring it to me, Bugger Kungan roared, furious by the creature's refusal. No, you don't deserve to have it, the creature yelled without a shred of hesitation. You dare defy me? I will crush you. I will crush you beneath my feet, and I will take the stone myself. Dirt under my feet is what you are, after all. Enraged, Burger Kungan began to twist and turn to free himself from the mountain's firm grasp. In his struggle, the cavern began to crumble, light breaking through the cracks forming in the ceiling. Oh no. Uh, should run? No, not again. The light. Stop moving. The slim-nosed troll exclaimed, <laughs> yet his words did not reach the Troll King. The creature and Alva paused for a moment to watch as the sunlight turned the trolls into stone before making their way out of the chamber. They will become stones. <laughs> Run, 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 oh, Knut. It's the second time we're running uh, out of cave from a cave. Wait, come on, come on, where are you? Hey, oh, Knut, come on, run, run. Oof. Passing through the crumbling copper gate, the creature glanced over its shoulder only to see a cold mountain wall, untouched by being and man alike casting a calming shadow over the clearing. The weary pair, staggering along the forest path, slowly made their way through the thick brush, 
as it happened, ending upon a path different than the one that led them there. As they felt the rise of the ground, the dark trees grew less imposing, allowing a wonderful view to greet their arrival at the top of the hill. How beautiful! The small creature gasped. I think I'd like to remain here for a while if you wouldn't mind. The Alva marveled at the sky as the creature carefully put her down on a slab beside it. I'm sorry for not being able to help you. I know I promised. The creature said with sad eyes kept at the muddy ground beneath its feet. That place wasn't at all what I'd hoped it to be. After remaining silent for a while, the creature nervously brought its eyes from the ground, greeted by the Alva's beaming smile. For although she could not speak, nor fly, her glow appeared brighter than before. As they sat there looking out across the woods, the creature felt at ease, and embraced by the sun's rays breaking through the treetops, it slowly faded as night made way for dawn. The Alva remained, humming a sad melody while looking at the stone now sitting beside her. The song filled the clearing, and as she took the last note, a glowing pair of beautiful wings had appeared on her back. Looking at the stone one last time, eyes filled with gratitude, she then rose from the ground disappearing amongst the tree's canopies. Ooh. And that, my friend, is where this story ends. Make of it what you will this darkest of nights. Be it truth or myth, I have but shared with you what was long ago told to me in the glow of a fire such as this one. I only hope that you'll take care where you trod this night, for, as the story goes, it turns out, even a small, in the scope of the world, insignificant creature can be of significance to someone not that significant themselves. Well, that... That was a sad ending. I thought we were uh, going to manage to help uh, our friend Elva, but yeah. But it was a good game. I like it a lot. Uh, and uh, the end was very touchy. <laughs> I felt actually sad. Uh, I thought it was going to be a very quickly game. Like, uh, we will end uh, this game in. Uh, Two or three hours, but it took maybe six or eight hours. <laughs> yeah, because oh, I had some problem with uh, trying to find the clues and the puzzles and stuff. <sighs> it was a good game. Finally, I, I played the game. Uh, and I recommend if you are like uh, someone who likes this uh, this kind of uh, folklore or mystic games the Scandinavian uh, mythology uh, I recommend to play this so yeah finally maybe I will make um, uh, a second like we will cut it into this episode and make two episodes for the final episode or maybe not maybe I put it uh, into together yes it seems maybe we were, we were a troll we were actually a troll uh, a little troll or maybe we were someone because I remember there was some blood in the farmer's house 
under his house, so maybe we were murdered or killed by this farmer. I don't know actually what happened, but uh, so maybe we were humans before. So, yeah. I hope this uh, little creature will find again uh, the little Elba and they will, uh, they will uh, meet again and have fun together because they were very good friends. It was very cute. Anyways, thanks uh, everyone for watching and playing together with me this game. Uh, if you like it, uh, uh, this. Uh, if you like this game playing with me, uh, click the like button, subscribe, and write something, uh, write your opinion, uh, and write uh, write uh, your opinion about this game. Write uh, what do you think? Did you like uh, the game, or did you thought it was boring, uh, or maybe? <laughs> Was I too much stupid to I couldn't uh, find the puzzles? <laughs> right, what do you want? Um, so, thanks again. Finally, we ended this game. And we will play more games uh, again in the future. And I hope you find, uh, if you like, you know, stuff game like this, write in the comment if you want to see more uh, similar games. Or something, uh, something else. I don't know. So, see you next time, my friends. Bye bye.